for lead generation we will use the google spreadsheet instead of excel to avoid sudden data loss due to power interruption so we need to go to our gmail account first and from there drive.google.com i have a folder for DZB lead classes you can create according to your project and create a google sheets we can simply click here new google sheets it may take some time to load the sheet properly we can simply rename the sheet class 01 so what is our target and uh, how many fields we need we have to select a header row for that here is a sample and we can see that uh, lead have uh, three important segments name title and followed by email address okay we can start with three double click on a cell a1 here is a and this is one that is why this cell is called a1 name then there was title and after that we had email okay but as soon as we will fill this up and scroll down our column name will not be visible anymore so we need to freeze this up for that to keep this header row on top always i'm going to select view fridge and first row now if we scroll down these numbers are going up but header row which is row number one is always on top now this email should be unique for each of our leads we can protect inserting the same lead twice by using a formula to apply the formula i will select column c which you can click just on the column name itself c and this one is header after that we will go format conditional formatting and there you will see the apply ranges this sheet has currently row 1 to row 1000 we can add uh, as much as we want but uh, that has a limit too our formula will be custom formula to detect any duplicate entry as soon as it is entered so i'm going to select from here custom formula is then any formula we will apply start will be start with equal sign it is not important to use capital letter but uh, almost everywhere we will see capital letter is used formula is count if you already know this this is column c so it will search in c colon c comma c1 including this row it will detect or search for duplicates after the bracket closing we will use greater than symbol and any duplicate more than one it will be detected as a duplicate so is greater than one is applied and now which color we want to use to highlight the cell to detect the duplicate from here we can select color uh, we will avoid yellow color so i'm going with uh, another color magenta here and done now our formula is applied to detect any duplicate email we can do it uh, for the phone number as well if required so let's test if our formula is working properly here is a not detected as a duplicate because there is no any other a in the same column i'm going to type it again in the c3 cell as soon as it is written 
you can see that the background color is changed and now you can say this is duplicate is detected remove the second one okay so it is uh, very very cool and uh, one question i had uh, which is we are selecting the range uh, from c1 to c1000 uh, do we have any mean to put that like from c1 to c infinite like no no how no. much ever... anything we cannot use the infinite everything must have everything must have inside a limitation excel and uh, and google sheet has a cell limitation uh, whatever how many pages say you use in a workbook but uh, you have to stay within the limit mm -hmm. okay thanks please go on okay so let's go to our source uh, here we can just select and copy I'm going to use shortcuts as many as possible. So copy shortcut is control C. You can go with this command right by right clicking. And on the sheet itself, if you use control V. Okay. Uh, uh, sometimes so we need to keep data in one cell inside. So like it could be title it could be description something else uh, so when we copy multiple line of data from any source web or from any file we need to keep inside a cell so we have to click targeted cell by double clicking and after the cursor is inserted we will use simply control v Now you can see that this data is showing next to other cell next to it. We can decorate it using different wrapping. So this formatting is going to be used from format and wrapping there. And there are three types of uh, over uh, formatting wrapping overflow wrap clip if you select overflow it will show the data next to its cell by default which we achieved or found and from the other wrapping wrap you can see the actual width we found of a column data is fitted inside it and not overlapping to other cell and on the other hand the last one let's see what it does format wrapping and clip clipping means it will not increase the sales oh, height or width okay what i was showing is wrapping text wrapping so these are the three text wrapping positions we need to uh, decorate our sheet and okay, here you can I see that here you can see that uh, this row I has see anything actually really yeah. yeah i can't see yes now i can okay uh, so these are the uh, three uh, text wrapping options uh, we have available in google sheets now you can see that uh, this cell has little bit uh, more height but sometimes uh, we just uh, do not need to read uh, the entire text and, uh, and this uh, height may be increased too long so we have to resize so how we can resize multiple row or here from this uh, position just uh, simply we can use clicking on the number of the row and uh, targeted last number of the row by pressing shift key so first one the start point number of the row we will left click only without pressing the shift key from windows and 
the last number of row before clicking the last number of row we have to press the shift key and left click then left click from the mouse on the mouse now any number of the row numbers we can use keep the mouse pointer on any number of the rows and right click here from the pop-up menu we will see that resize rows number is appeared row number 2 to 10 is selected now click on it here is the row height we can use simply 16 to 17 pixels I usually use 17 click OK and you can see that all rows are in the same height now any question no question thanks okay the next step sometimes so we will have to our email cell validation need to apply for example name there should be name then at the rate then domain then dot com or something these are the proper proper email address conditions it has name domain both part and at the rate symbol so if anything is missing and a proper email formatting is not there any text will not be appeared or if we insert it, there will be a signal for us that this email has some part missing so how we can apply that email formatting or for that which column we want to make the protection have to select here I will select C and from the from the data menu actually this is data validation so from the data menu we need to apply data validation I'm clicking on it now here you can see the range number one row number has email title so I will avoid this number one I will start with the number two so this one is changed to number two because C1 has the header name of this column ending row number is thousand and what type of validation we need we need to select you know email is a uh, some kind of text and we will use text thereafter what it contains it con it should be contained a va a valid email right and uh, using same technique we can validate any url or web address but here we have to choose valid email is valid email now what it will react if uh, any email address have missing part or not the matching part so it can show warnings it is by default selected we can reject the input so that uh, as soon as you will hit enter it will not enter to the cell the data will not enter to the cell so let me keep the show warning and click save this condition will be saved enter c column except the row number one because header will not have the email now let me check if it is applied properly so here is an email m and there you can see that top right of the cell corner there is a symbol and it is as soon as you will keep your mouse pointer there it will show that input must be a valid email address a warning there when I have dot com the warning is gone now this email address has a valid email format so mail is deliverable or not that is another question but it must have the email proper formatting it must be applied to the lead sheet sometimes 
we need to apply date for date we can format it here you can see number what kind of number here is a date and time I will use date format now 10 zero one now you can see that I typed only 22 it is taken 2022 automatically so format again from the format option number here we can use currency we can use number you can use plain text everything is depending on our needs so let me remove the date so these are the cell formatting and uh, color and other uh, changes we can apply from their right section top of the menu you know but let me show you another thing there was a summary page in this of the lead collection page or lead collection book in or in the original book where total collected lead in different section is displayed so how we can achieve the same result or how we can apply the results apply the formula to get the results so for example lead zero one target something it me there and here we can use the total there is in lead project zero one maybe 2050 thereafter in lead project 2 we may have 750 but somewhere it should be the total leads so i am selecting another header cell total leads here it can be applied or it can be showed so which cell you want to show the total of these numbers containing the column D we can use it use it, we can uh, apply using formula so any formula select the cell start will be using the equal sign and then we can use sum format and from where we have D three started with d3 leads number are started with and uh, maybe d500 will be our last so d3 then colon then we will have to use the last cell number expected last cell number here i may expect 700 or something as soon as I have typed you can see that the mark is appeared so that uh, these cells are within the range let me check some D 3 to D 7000 sum equal it is using 0 another point is that uh, these are the numbers oh applied text from in the let me check format numbers plain text it was considered as plain text so did not have the sum we need to select numbers and here you can see that the total number is uh, appeared using the formula did you get it Why uh, the that that is the summation okay and these are the uh, sum of the total leads uh, we collected in different sections in different projects lead one lead two you can use uh, any other formula like uh, dividation subtraction but uh, those are not uh, required here so I'm not going to display those at this moment I will show those to you later if required and come to the another important point 
how we can remove duplicates duplicate data and uh, when you have large lead list uh, we may have a duplicate data like here I am typing one T again E at the rate S dot com and changing something else changing to else com is not here you can see q is not valid domain extension so qs okay again i am going to paste the same data sets now how uh, if uh, we have a few data or few leads we can easily detect and delete uh, duplicates ourselves but uh, for the thousands of leads uh, we cannot manually detect and delete leads duplicates so we have to use something efficient here we can select our data from the data menu and here you can see that data cleanup option is available for us and here you can see cleanup suggestions let us check what it suggests you can see that the row number five have duplicate data here is the duplicate row it says so we can remove it from there or if you do not want to use cleanup suggestions we can simply use data data cleanup and direct remove duplicates okay a range of cells containing value please select we need to select uh, how many row or column we want to use okay from a to c column we will detect duplicate and remove it so i will first click i will first click on a the column number of a column name of a and then by pressing shift key on windows i will click on the last targeted column name c so the range is selected now we can go to data and data cleanup and remove duplicates here here is a header row so name title email total these are the header row so we have to select and check this option data has header row and column a to column c is selected if uh, you want to remove something we can just deselect but here we will not use the deselect option remove duplicates one duplicate row was found and removed three unique rows remain you can see that we do not have any duplicate rows anymore so this is the another way we can use to remove duplicates now another bro. yeah bro can you hear me yeah i can hear you hello i i i can't hear you properly and your presentation is gone like the screen sharing is gone 